Hello everyone, and I'm so glad to see you. Today, I'm going to do another fable. I hope you don't find them too hard because they were originally written in Old English, which is very different from the English we use now. But as usual, I am here to help you. So never worry. So fables are good to read, they say because they're about morals and life lessons. They are stories that have been passed down over generations. Maybe in your country, you have some uh, stories which are similar to fables. That would be very interesting to know. So today we are going to do one about a young girl who uh, is called a milkmaid because as you see, uh, she is in charge of milking the cows and then taking the milk to the market. So she's called a milkmaid. Our next word is about birds, birds that were hunted for food or they laid eggs. And to describe the whole family, you would say fowl. Now you're saying to yourself, this is easy, it's a bucket. But there is another word for it and it's called a pail, right? So you would now know it as a bucket and before it was known as a pail. Now this man here is a man of God and one of his titles is parson. There are many words for men of God and parson normally is someone from the Protestant church and he is in the story a little. Our next word is about the chicken here, or the hen. The hen is laying eggs, so she's uh, bringing new life into the world, and she is laying eggs, as you can see in the picture. Now, this uh, word now describes the style of this dress. Dimity, frock. Now, frock is a northern word for me from England, uh, which means dress. But now everyone says dress. But I would, when I was a child, I used to say frock. Okay? So let's read together uh, the fable. Uh, don't worry about the English because I'm here to help you. So the milkmaid and her pail. So as I said, the young lady and her bucket of milk, which you can see here in the picture on her head. Patty, the milkmaid, was going to the market, carrying the milk in a pail on her head. As she went along, she began to calculate what she would do with the money she would get for the milk. I'll buy some fowls from Farmer Brown, she said and they will lay eggs each morning, which I will sell to the parson's wife. With the money that I get from the sale of these eggs, I'll buy myself a new Dimiti frock and a chip hat. Now, a chip hat is something very curious. Imagine a carpenter, a man who uses wood, and when he uses wood and he uh, files the wood down, small pieces of wood comes off called chippings. And in this time, they would make hats for young ladies out of the small pieces of wood. So this is why it's called a chip hat. So she's going to buy some new clothes in her head, no? And when I go to the market, won't all the young men come up and speak to me? Holly Shaw will be so jealous, but I don't care. I should just look at her and toss my head like this. She's been a bit silly, no? As she spoke that, she tossed her head back and the pail fell off it. And all the milk was spilt. So for being silly, thinking of things before they'd actually happened and then worrying about her friend being jealous, 
she moved her head back and the milk fell off her head. So you can imagine the milk spilt onto the floor. So the moral of the story is don't count your chickens before they hatch. So I would like you to imagine an egg and the action of the chick coming out of the egg is to hatch. So there's a special expression. So chickens hatch out of the eggs. And the moral is don't count those chickens which haven't been born yet because they could have died. Uh, something could have happened. And here she is before she gets to the market with her milk. She has spent the money she thinks she's going to uh, earn from the milk. And because of a silly accident, it spills on the floor. So don't plan things which haven't happened yet. So that is the moral of the story. What about you? Do you count your chickens before they hatch? Let me know in the comments. I normally don't count my chickens before they hatch. Normally I have plan A, plan B, and I'm quite serious about everything. But who knows? Maybe you count your chickens before they hatch. So until next time, see you. And don't forget, if you like it, press the like button so I know about recording some more. Okay then, see you next time.